My name is Joaquin Arga, food and I'm 10 years old and I love math. I met this young man by the name of Waki Gafud, who is a remarkable mathematical genius. My numbers. 3.1415923.53589. And then it goes on. Being um, most of my scholastic training was in maths and sciences, uh, I immediately uh, took a shine to this young man. Your name is Senator Bongbong Marcos, and, and you were born on September 13, 1957. You used to study in St. Emma's Hall, Oxford University, and University of Pennsylvania. Your hometown is Ilocos Norte, while your father's name was Ferdinand Edrelin Marcos, while your mother's name was Imelda Romualdez Marcos. In 1992 to 1995, you were the congressman of the 2nd District of Ilocos Norte. On 1998 to you were the governor of Ilocos Norte. On 2000, 2007 to 2010, you were the congressman of the 2nd District of Ilocos Norte. Again, in 2010 to 2016, you were the senator of the Philippines. Oh, and in 2019, you're about to become the vice president. <laughs> I like the prediction. <laughs> Mga problem na binigay ko sa niya, ang bilis talaga yung sinod. Tinuruan pa ako kung paano niya sinosolve. Philip, maybe you can help me. I, up to now, I asked my father and I asked my mother, and they don't know what day I was born. I was born on September 13, 1957. You were born on a Friday. How do you do that? I'll check your birth. Yeah. <laughs> what day was... September. You're a genius. <laughs> How do you do that? First, you get the the last two digits of the year. Okay. You divide it by four. You want to do it on the board? One. 17 divided by four, that's four. You add one since you're in the 1900. Four, that's five, right? Five. Yeah. And and Friday is the fifth day of the week. Oh. <laughs> you, did, you did that in like one second. Okay, what's the cube root of? Yeah, right. Four thousand nine hundred and thirteen. Huh? Equals what? Seventeen. <laughs> Oh my God, how do you do that? It's absolutely correct. A rocket engineer. When I was your age, I wanted to be an astronaut. I knew everything about the space program. How old are you? I'm 10. When I was 10 years old, you walk into my room, all you could see were models from rockets. The Russians and the Americans make it pasikat. Who could send a man into space first? Americans thought they were going to be because they got along with the But the Russians were able to send a man up into space for the first. They first sent dog, and then they sent monkey, and then finally they sent a person. Yuri Gagarin was the first man in space, followed by John Glenn. Then Apollo 11 came. And that's when Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin went and walked on the moon. I, 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 yeah, I really, I really love this stuff. I was lucky when I was lucky. I was brought by my father to uh, the United States. And one of his friends asked me, he said, what do you want to do while you're here? He said, I want to go to NASA. So you know they stay profit to NASA. I saw all of, I saw the rockets, I saw all of the things. I was like, that is making that way in the project. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's wonderful to see young men, a young man like this who is uh, doing so well and I'm sure will uh, have a very bright future and will be, will bring, uh, will bring pride and glory to his country. One of these days, if you really, really work hard and study really, really hard, maybe you'll work on one of those rockets. Maybe you can be an astronaut. We'll send you off to Mars. What do you think? Would you go? Would you like? No, that's kind of scary, right? <laughs>